Good afternoon people and welcome once again to Cooking on the Corsican. You find us here we're at Fleet Dyke just outside South Walsham. It's uh, Sunday, it's the, don't know what date it is. It's, it's actually Easter Sunday, that's when it is, but this is Easter Sunday, the 16th. And uh, today I'm making Gratin Dauphinois. Now, a lot of people make this in all sorts of strange ways, boiling the potatoes and milk and everything and putting cheese in it and everything else. I think the way to do it, this is proper gratin dauphinois, the way that it should be made. Now I have got myself a little bit in advance, so I don't need to put you through the pain of it all. I have peeled two pounds of Maris Piper potatoes and I have sliced them very thinly. Now, I normally do it in a mandolin, but I didn't bring my mandolin, so I've done it by hand, just to show you that you can do it by hand. They come out a little bit thinner in the mandolin, but you want them nice and thin like this, okay? You want a dish, and you want one clove of garlic, okay? And all you do with the garlic is you just rub the garlic. I'm just going to break, put my nail in it just to start to release the oils from the clove of garlic and then I'm going to rub it around this dish like that God you can smell it I'm going to do my nail on the other side I'm going to, in fact I've split it so that's good I'm going to rub it all around the sides like so you might think to yourself God that's not going to do anything but believe you me that's very subtle and that does make a great difference to the flavour of the gratin Okay, so that's all the way round. This is going to be a very quick vlog and you dispose of that piece of garlic now, okay? <coughs> now you build it up in layers, which I'm going to quickly show you. But over the years I'm eating this, I've learned a little trick. And that is to start by putting a little bit of the cream in the bottom first. just about that much and just swirl it around and that just helps to stick that just helps to stick your first layer now basically what you do is you just try and go as neatly as you possibly can and you just layer them up overlapping them you can make it as nice you know, as you want it, as you want to make it. But as I go one way, now in between each layer, you have to season. In between each layer, okay. And then you start the second layer, and I always put my second layer the other way, right? And that gives the, the dish a bit of strength. So we'll put that that way. We'll put that that way. And then same again, a wee bit of seasoning. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm going to start and I'm going to do the next layer and I'm going to do them that way. Now I'm not going to put you through me building this up, I'm going to come back when I've got the whole dish filled to the top and I'll show you what I do next. So I'll see you when I get back. So here you are people, we're back and as you can see I've layered them up all the way to the top and as I showed you I layered one way one way, one way, one way and that gives it strength, it gives it stability when you come to take it out of the dish so the very last thing we do on the top is a little sprinkling of salt and pepper and in between every single layer you season okay? in between every single layer here we go, our last little sprinkling of pepper 
ok I'll just dry my hands and now I've not used quite two pounds of potatoes in here there's a few left so I'm going to use about three quarters of a pint of cream which is exactly what I've got in here but if you use two pounds of potatoes you use one pint of double cream if you use a pound of potatoes make a smaller one use half a pint of cream this will easily serve six very good portions you don't want a lot of this it's very very rich so you don't want to get so this dish here will easily serve six and I just very gently I just go round, start to go round the sides first and I just pour in very gently letting the cream go all the way So there you go people, now that will go in an oven, <coughs> gas mark 5 covered in the middle of the oven and I will leave that for at least an hour and 15 minutes before I go and test it and I will run a knife into it and see how soft it is after an hour and 15 minutes. If it's, if it's getting to, to that way I shall take the, the tin foil off because I'm just going to put a piece of tin foil over it. I'm not going to encase it and wrap the whole thing up. I'm just going to cover it to stop it burning. But the whole thing should take between an hour and a half to an hour and three quarters at gas mat five. And that's about, that's about uh, uh, 150 in, in, in your home oven. And that will take about one and a half to one and three quarter hours. And when I take this out of the oven, I shall turn my camera back on again and just show you what it looks like. So this is just a very, very quick vlog on how to make delicious gata dauphin white. It goes with absolutely anything. Beautiful with lamb, delicious with steak. It really is a delicious dish. You must try it. You'll absolutely love it. But it certainly isn't for somebody who's on a diet. But as I say, you are only having a very small amount of it. So anyway, come back and join us a little bit later on when I take this out of the oven. We'll give you a quick look. I have got people here for dinner, so it'll just be a quick look and off again. So I'll say my goodbyes just now. If you've been watching, thanks ever so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. All the information's down below. All the different links for Norfolk Broads websites, Norfolk Broads forums. Um, Facebook, Instagram, all the craps down below and please leave your comments, we love them, okay? So again, thanks for watching, see you when we get back. Hello people and welcome back to Cooking on the Corsican. I promised to drop back in and show you the Grata Dauphinois when it just came out of the oven and there we go, there it is. And what I shall do for you is I shall quickly show you what it's like coming out of the pan. So just take a nice sharp knife Go round the outsides, and believe you me, this is hot. We'll cut it straight down the middle. Like this. And I'll cut it into about six portions. There you go. And I shall endeavour to take one of these portions out for you. Just to let you see what Grata Dauphinois should look like. So there you go people, that's all for this vlog. Thanks ever so much for, for watching and we're off to eat our dinner. Goodbye.